Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Brittany Nicole. I make beauty videos on YouTube, mainly focused on hooded eyes because I very clearly have hooded eyes. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Today we are going to do this eyeshadow look right here, which only uses two shadows from a very affordable palette, the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette. I am absolutely loving all of their palettes. The price is on point. The formula is great. They blend really easy. They're pigmented and I am just absolutely loving them. And you can just run to the drugstore and pick it up for like less than five bucks. So I wanted to do something simple and bring it back to basics. I talk about this a lot on my channel. In today's world of YouTube, you can get really caught up in applying like a crease color, a lid color, an outer V color, a deeper outer V color, a shimmer color, and all these things. And if you have eyes like me, you will look a hot mess at the end of that because it is just too heavy. I have heavy lids as it is, and adding all those colors just gets to be a hot mess, and then everything kind of turns into mush. So. Today we are doing, obviously, a two eyeshadow look from this palette. All we're using is a peach color right here and then this white color. That's it. And I'm sure you have something at home that is like this. And if not, you can take any other shade and just do the same technique. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and keep watching. Hey guys, so I thought I was recording and it turns out I wasn't. But basically what I've done here so far is I've just taken this peach shade right here on a 217 and I've just pressed it into the lid. So what I'm doing is I'm applying like medium pressure. I'm holding my brush about right here and just pressing it into the lid until I get to where the iris ends. And then I'm going to stop with the orange color because I'm trying to open up the inner part of my eye, which is why I have the champagne whitish shade right there. My eyes, as you can see, when I don't lift my brows, are very hooded, especially on the inner corner. They open a little on the outer corner, but I've been trying to open up the inner corner a lot more, and I think that's been helping my eyeshadow look. So basically, all you've missed is me dabbing into the peach shade and then just slowly working my way in. So we'll do the rest with you here, and I apologize. That's a horrible, horrible way to start the video, but I didn't want to have to take all my concealer off and then start over, so I hope that's okay with you guys. So again, I'm just gonna kind of fill the lid from where my natural crease ends to where the inner part of my iris ends. I'm adding the peach shade slow and steady because I don't want to get any fallout. This palette is pigmented, uh, but it's not like crazy pigmented, but sometimes I do get fallout. So I'm gonna start to just kind of feather it in right there and we're gonna add that champagne color before we start to blend out that outer corner so you can take whatever you want i'm just gonna take a, another fluffy brush this is like a tart brush and i'm gonna dip into the white champagne shade in the palette right there and i'm just gonna start to put that from the inner corner right into the peach shade and it's just gonna kind of build a nice like transition shade from the peach to the white color as we go over. So just kind of keeping it for the most part on the natural crease and inner corner. We're gonna go back in with a highlight shade but just to start like that and then again going back in with the MAC 217 we're gonna build that up and move it over see how it just kind of creates a lighter peach shade that's what we're looking for and we're gonna blend all of this so All right, so now I'm gonna take that 217, I'm really starting to kind of water in the outer corner. And again, just with the peach shade, I'm gonna build it up in the outer corner a little bit because as you can see on this side, that's kind of where I'm lifting the eye. So pretty much focusing on the outer corner. I'm gonna switch brushes because that one's getting a little bit wet from 
the uh, watery outer corner. And we're just gonna build up and then over. Don't like that brush either. <laughs> Moving on to a Morphe M433. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And now I'm just gonna kind of slowly bring it over, but I'm not trying to extend my crease too high. Like, we'll go in and blend in a second. Just like that, and then a blending brush with nothing on it. I'm just gonna make sure this truly has nothing on it. We're gonna blend the outer corners into nothing, or outer edges, that is. And then if you feel like it, you can build up the color once again on the lid. You feel like you've lost some pigment. And honestly, that is pretty much it, you guys. The easiest look by far, but it incorporates some color and some nice summer vibes. Just like that. So now I'm gonna switch to a pencil brush and I'm just gonna bring that same peach color right under the eye. Sorry if you couldn't see me, I have my mirror up kinda high there. Stopping again where the iris ends. Great, now my nose is starting to water. And then again with that tart brush, the white color, bringing that under to blend right into the peach shade. And then I'm just gonna take that and blend out under here. So, so, so easy. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just apply my mascara. And then when I come back, I'll show you what I do with this darker, I mean, it's not like anything crazy. I'm just gonna kind of take it after I put my mascara on and really push it up to the edge of the lower lash line, just like I did right here, right in the outer corner. So I'm gonna put some mascara on, no lashes, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, mascara is on. So like I said, I'm just gonna dip into that deep brown shade with just an angled brush. This is a broken LA Girl 207. And all I'm gonna do, and this eye is really watering, so it's not gonna look like quite as good as it would if it wasn't watering, but what else is new in my life? I'm just gonna really tightly get right up to the lash line and push. And we're basically gonna just take that like a third of the way in. That one's a little thicker than this side, so I'm gonna thicken up this side a little bit. And then take your pencil brush that you were using and then just, I'm gonna dip into the orange shade so I can kinda add some color to my watery eye and just blend those edges so it's nice and soft rather than harsh just like that and I did while I was off take my highlight I have just been loving the Lottie London shimmer squad it's like all I've been using it since I got it a couple weeks ago in Queen Bee and I just took that on that same blending brush that I used with the white color and just threw it right in there to open up those eyes even more and add some shimmer and that is really it for this one you guys so so simple I have been using these wet and wild palettes this one and let me grab the other two the stop ruffling my feathers and hasta la costa these transition shades in these are so gorgeous and I just love the formula of these wet and wild shadows and they are so cheap like I love these transition colors and all the other colors are super fun too if I can move my hand I just like to do the least in the summer so yeah I hope this was helpful sometimes I know I talk about this all the time in my videos it's super easy to get caught up in the like YouTube vibe of like 
throw in a transition color and throw in a outer V color and throw on five shades on your eyes and my eyes can't handle it. The simpler, the better when it comes to eyeshadow and this has just been the easiest go-to that I am really really liking i think it makes my eyes stand out since i have blue eyes you can even take like a blue liner and throw that on the lower water line to add a pop of color and that would be super pretty i'd probably throw in like a nude liner just to make my eyes look a little more open but yeah this is it you guys i hope this was helpful to some of you and inspiring to to you know take it back to basics as i talk about all the time some of you might be sick of me saying that but if you are new here once again my name is Brittany nicole i make a lot of youtube videos i try to post about two a week sometimes with work it gets a little bit nutty and i can't but i try to focus a lot on hooded eyes because i have very very hooded eyes as you can see if i don't raise my eyebrows and it's kind of hard to find YouTube videos for the kind of puffy hooded eyes I have. So if you are new here, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. If you're not new, thank you for subscribing. Welcome back, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.